Is this thing on? I can never tell. Max, is it on? When he licks his tongue like that, it's on. He's a smart pup. Well, as you can see, I got a little something in the background. It's a little newer than that 66. It's a uh, 012 Jeep Wrangler. And uh, I already inspected the brakes. Brakes are fine. But uh, I got an oil change on her now. And uh, let's get right to it. Where's the oil filter on a Jeep Wrangler? <clears throat> well, in order to find the oil filter, <clears throat> first you gotta remove this. It's like that. <clears throat> Pull straight up and out. Oil filters right there. Yay! Right on top of the engine. And you notice the alternator's on backwards. I kind of uh, reminiscent of Saab. Saab used to do some pretty crazy stuff. Anyway, 15 sixteenths. Like that. Just like that. And the little puppy's plastic. She's plastic. Just like that. Piece of cake. Now what do you gotta do? Now what do we do? We will take it over here to the uh, oil filter draining department. Okay. Uh, here, let me set you over here. Just pull it right out. Just like that. Just like that. Filter, there's the cap. Now we get a rag. I was looking underneath this thing earlier. I was like, where the heck is the oil filter, man? Where the heck? Where's the oil filter? Where's the oil filter? Where's the oil filter? <coughs> I actually had to Google it. <clears throat> well, some of these guys are taking so long to explain the process that uh, I figured oh, maybe I could do a better job, make it more entertaining. So here we go. Well, one of the interesting things I found on this Jeep, <clears throat> check this out. The, uh, the code, the little tag. You see that at all? Probably not. It's at the bottom. It says California OBD, California OBD2, fuel gasoline, certified to optional useful life per carb, 1961. Huh? Well, whatever. So let's get the new filter in it. So right here, I'm using a Wix filter. Right here. She just loved the camera work. Cam work is fantastic. A little O-ring there. Just like back in a day. And the O-ring's on the cap here. You could probably reuse this O-ring probably a few different times. But I'm going to change it out anyway. And of course I don't have a tool. As usual. So this whatever. Stand by. Stand by. We're gonna really need to hire a cameraman. I really do. I need a cameraman. Anybody wanna be my cameraman? Huh? Just uh just show up here and be my cameraman. You don't need an application or nothing. It doesn't pay anything other than uh, being able to hang out with me and Max. And uh, there you go. All right, so we're gonna put the new uh, O-ring on there, like such. And we will take and uh, pop that in there like that. Now my hands are all greasy, so I can't touch the camera. Great, just great. All right, here we go, let's reinstall. Oil filter, just like that. Now according to my parts store, this little pup takes six quarts of oil. Make sure you get her seated. 
don't over tighten it because it is plastic. There you go. Bolt filter change complete. Now how about the uh, air filter? The air filter is uh, right over here in this box. And first thing you want to do is take out these bolts. I've already loosened them. Take out these bolts. Like that. And like that. A little 10 millimeter head. 10 millimeter head. Come on. Come on. Come on. There you go. And there's four clips. Clip one. Clip two. Clip three. And clip four. Clip four. There we go. And lift that sucker up like that. There's your filter right there. She's a pretty dirty little bug. And there's our new Wix filter. 49018 Wix number. Oil filter is 57526. Alright. There you go. Just put it back in the same way you took it out. With the little tang, the little tang dealing bobber. Towards the front. Here you go. Clip one. Clip two. Clip three. And. I don't think I'll be able to do it one handed. Max, help me. Help me, Max. There you go. Clip four. Oil and filter changes in what, less than two minutes? Four minutes? Twelve minutes? I don't know. All I got left to do now is drain the oil, and that's a pretty standard issue. Uh, well, let's see what kind of drain plug it's got. That might help. Somebody might want to know what wrench that is. <coughs> let's see. Oh, that's 14 mil. That's 14 mil right there. So there you have it. There you have it from Fooch Man. Another quality, how-to, fantastically filmed video. Um... I'm going to get back to the, the uh, boring as Cuda one of these years, but uh, I got actually paying jobs now, so I, uh, I got I to gotta do those first. Gots to pay the bills. So I don't know, you guys want to hang out with me or what? That's pretty much it for the uh, Jeep uh, oil change deal. I need to get a, a drain, uh, a drain goober, a drain goober. Yeah, just hang out, we'll just hang out. I don't appear to be boring uh, too many of you guys, so I guess I can't have music on my videos no more because the uh, video nanny, uh, the, the channel nanny or whatever, after like a year of a video, they like send me this thing that said, oh, you're going to copyright thing, like, eh, whatever. <sighs> forget it. Just forget it. Ugh. Oh no! First mistake of the year. I almost went a whole year with, without any mistakes. It's 13 millimeter. Oh! Alright. Back to the toolbox. Back to the toolbox. Some more tools. More tools, Max. More tools. It's a crazy action pack. Charge you! 13 mil right there. Metric stuff's pretty pretty hard to guess sometimes. Especially if we get those 13, 12, 13 millimeter, 14 millimeter. I can usually eyeball the 12s pretty good. Some 13s I have trouble with. There you go. Drain plug is a 13 millimeter. And it's tighter than a heck. She's a tight little bugger. You gotta be kidding me, man. And I'm gonna have to get oh, I'm gonna have to get medieval on this thing. Okay. Oh wow. That thing was tight. No, John, I'm over with John. Uh oh. That sounds like I got a guest. Sounds like I got a guest. And I gotta go over and fix my guest light. He's a ballast. Alright, I guess I'm gonna cut it short. While my oil drains. 
See you, people. Bye-bye.